to see something more laughable, it's the PS5 in Japan. PS5 exclu a PS5 game goes to see the director's cut got outsold by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is as absolutely laughable as well, because this is supposed to be like a big game on the PS5. Is a it is something that a lot of fans have been wanting, but it seems that in Japan people don't care. Because Sony is a dying platform. Sony is a dying console. Okay. Here is the hardware. So it seems that Xbox is gaining more and more hardware sales week by week. But maybe that that Forbes article is basically right. Xbox Series X and S is gaining more and more consoles every but is actually increasing every week. Meanwhile, Sony has declined from twenty thousand a week to twelve thousand a week. Has not even sold a million copies yet. That's just hilarious. PS4 by not by that same time has sold like one point two to one point five million copies. So the PS5 is selling far worse than the PS4. And software sales. This is this, this is just pathetic. Ghost of the Seaver is being outsold by Minecraft, Mario Kart Deluxe, and Ring Fit Adventure. Yep, these games are all outselling. Goes to the SEMA Director's Cut. But despite this, Sony fanboys say, oh, how console is the greatest. Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS5 was one of the worst openings in Final Fantasy history. Goes to see what Director's Cut is selling just as badly. No one's buying PS5 games. Nobody's buying Sony exclusives. Nobody cares about PS5 anymore in Japan. Despite having 900,000 copies, you would think that Ghost of Tsushima defeated would, so would be the number one game of the week, but kind of in top the top three. Top three. That's just absolutely pathetic of Sony. Absolutely pathetic. But you would think that people in Japan would buy places and games, would accept all the censorship, would accept garbage games such as Jurassic Park 2. But it seems that the Japanese people are actually are actually smarter than us and not buy places and consoles. So, the more, in fact, that the games are actually flopping every game in Japan is essentially flopping on the PS5, and most of the Japanese games are just coming to the Switch instead. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Psycho Battle Royale should have been an easy PS5 port, but nope, it's only on Nintendo Switch because people actually buy games on Nintendo Switch, not PS5. But at least on PS5, we're only sold like 5,000 copies, and that's it. And that's the ironic part. Okay, for, for example, Resident Evil Village. That was the worst selling Resident Evil game in history. Why? Because it's a Sony exclusive. And nobody buys PlayStation anyways. So that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.